Hey, I'm Suki, and today I'm going to show you my idea of the perfect 2x2. For the footprint, make a 2x2 two two with this little raised and lowered square foundation like a little pattern thingy-majig. Place a raised triangle to the left of it, and this little sequence of triangles. I'm not saying it that quickly. <laughs> and finally, put a lowered triangle on the three triangles there. For the TC ring, silver square ring, put a door on, put down your TC. Make a shelf and finally put your door. Moving on, we are going to place some two half walls, two walls, floor triangle here, and a floor triangle above it. Put the roof on and the doors, and here will look a little bit like this. With three large boxes on the bottom, two in the middle, two on top, three small boxes, furnace, two more small boxes. Finally another small box and a large box, this completes this 2x1 area, this is just where the main loot resides. Moving on we're going to seal this one in, just a little square in, put a floor on, place a wall here, place a normal wall, a half wall on top, a floor, another floor, and just throw this wall here. You're now going to want to place a roof here, and a roof here, creating your first bunker, put a ramp on top of this, place two boxes on here. And the way this bunker works is by placing a twig level, you make this part go here. You're gonna preferably get this to armor as soon as possible. And the way to make this wall, this is not a wall, a roof move is just by removing that and it goes back. Here I want you to place three bags, a furnace and a tier three. I lied, there is a small box instead of a furnace. But this is how your core should look. Pretty compact, lots of space that's very contrasting sentences but yep coming through here we're going to start our first stability bunker by placing a wall here a wall here but make this a first. place a half wall a wall destroy the half wall come through here place here you can either do a wooden triangle to keep this wooden so you can expand upwards because this is where you will be going up but if you don't want to do that just put a normal finger magic anyway so yeah the way stability so bunker works pretty sure a lot of you know place a twig half wall here a floor triangle you come through here you destroy this which would be twig the floor goes as well so yeah that's how that works coming through here i want you to place a low wall a half frame a half frame a half wall a floor triangle doorway three windows throw in three wall frames so this part in and if you are doing the um, this, <laughs> if you are doing the uh, wooden thingy, I do recommend you get a tile here like this, so you can't go straight down. After throwing the doors on, you're going to come down here, place a small box like this, come out of the front door, place a foundation and a raised ramp, make sure this is metal. And as you can see, it counters most door campers which are going to be there. And you can just kind of check like that to see if anyone's hiding. Yeah. Anyway, now let's go into the honeycomb. So it's very, very simple. Triangles all the way around. This does need to be lowered though. And that's basically it. Just put half walls here, which does make it a little bit more expensive. But hey, you know, I think the extra loot space is 100% worth it. So yeah, it's only about one more stone of the end, so still complaining. So you shouldn't complain anyway. Um yeah, so just base I do recommend doing like this as well. All the way around, make sure to fill these in so you can't splash into it. And here you have it. This is my favorite go-to perfect 2x2. Um if you like, you know, maybe subscribe. Yeah, it'd be cool. <laughs> nah, this is it though. Hope you like it. Um have a good day.